Welcome to the Virtual Why series. Our topic today is mindful eating without losing your mind. My name is Jenny. I'm a registered dietitian. And I'm Janice. I'm a healthy lifestyle coach with the Y. And we are bringing this to you from the YMCA of Metropolitan Dallas. When you're thinking about healthy food, I know it can be complicating, overwhelming, and frustration. Absolutely. And so we're going to make sure that we're being more mindful in this series and we're being more present and pay more attention to our foods to get the nutrition that we need. And this is for anyone that needs to learn the food groups, that needs to take time out of their day and think about their meals and learn about all the different wholesome ways to eat. And so with that, we're going to make sure that we are um, paying attention to our food groups and our macronutrients in specific and um, find details on how to um, eat simple and healthy in each category. And we're going to make sure that we do that into simplistic ways in each food category. So the four main topics we're going to be talking about today are fats, uh, proteins, carbohydrates, fruits, and veggies. Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome to Module 1, where we'll be talking about fats. My name is Jenny, a registered dietitian with the YMCA. And I'm Janice, a healthy lifestyle coach with the YMCA. And what is... What is a fat, Jenny? Yeah. I know what is a fat. Do you you know? tell me what a fat is. How about? A fat is anything that you put on your food, like okay. a dressing, mm -hmm. butter. That's what a fat. So anything that we put on our food is a fat. Okay. Okay. Tell me about healthy fat. Healthy fats can be a lot of the time as plant-based fats. That's what we really want to strive towards. So we have unsaturated fats that are broken down into polyunsaturated and monounsaturated. Mm -hmm. You'll often see that on a nutrition food label. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to make sure we're getting in both. They're both really good for us. So polyunsaturated is more so that omega-3 fats, and so you're going to get more of the, the fish benefits um, from omega-3s. You're going to also have to see that in, in nuts and seeds. Mm -hmm. um, and then monounsaturated is going to be more of the... Um, specific kind of fish, so mm -hmm. salmon, yeah. but also the um, olive oil is, is the main one. Both of which are going to be helpful in reducing blood cholesterol mm -hmm. levels and then just keeping your heart healthy and also yes. preventing other kinds of issues from happening. Exactly. So that was the healthy fats. Tell me more about fats we should limit in our diet. Saturated fat is a bad fat. We should limit that. Okay. You're going to get that mainly from your animal products mm -hmm. like your meat, your um, mm -hmm. dairy, your eggs. Yep. It is the fat that causes cholesterol. Mm. So we definitely want to limit fat. And then we want to talk about trans fat. Yeah, what is a trans which fat? Which is a very bad fat, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> which, which is a very bad fat, most people, because it's, um, it's made from liquid and it mm. turns into a solid fat. Okay. okay, that's why it's bad. And it's another fat that you want to definitely el eliminate it. And it's in right. our processed food. Most people don't realize that. Like, you get those cookies. Yeah. I'm a cookie girl. I love cookies. I love cookies. <laughs> but it's got the trans fat in it. Mm. And then you if got the crackers. Yes. Yeah. If you mm -hmm. buying it. And, yeah. If you buying it, if you're not making it. Right. You got your crackers. You got your biscuits. Those mm -hmm. things, all processed okay. food really have trans fat in it. So those are the fat we want to eliminate. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. Like you said, eliminate, because yeah. we don't want any of that yeah. in our diet. Yeah. Not even limit, but just yeah. eliminate yeah. trans fat. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's the truth. Yes. yes. So in terms of portion control of the kind of fats that we want to have, yeah. I always bring my, my hand out to make sure we you know, are looking at the portions of it. So if we're looking at our thumb, it's just the tip of our thumb here that's about five grams of fat, which is enough, which is one mm -hmm. serving of fat. Yeah. So that should be enough for your meal. So not, mm -hmm. of course, if you're having a, um, a large meal or a large family you're cooking for, you're going to have a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. But if it's just for you, just sticking to that amount right. is a serving. I agree with you on that. Yep. 100%. And there's different kind of oils out there. Yeah. You so got, what do we you, have? You got, so the, the, the most healthy and best mm -hmm. oils to use would be your extra virgin olive oil. Yep. And then, believe it or not, coconut is a saturated fat, but it's still a good oil to have, yeah. um, to cook with. Then you have your avocado oil, yep. and then you have your um, grass-fed butter. Yes. That's, that's, that's those are one. things. Those are the best things to cook with. Or ghee. Or ghee. Yeah, like they call it ghee. ghee. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the best things to cook with. So yeah. I, good. Good yeah. tips. And I brought this out too because if you're having um, 
cow's milk, it mm -hmm. is nice to be able to reduce that saturated fat by replacing it with some kind of plant-based milk, mm -hmm. such as this. this is oat milk, but you can also choose almond, almond. milk and coconut milk mm -hmm. and other things like that. Yeah. Paying attention to the term unsweetened is important. Yes. And choosing um, zero sugar, you know, is mm -hmm. again, no added sugars is the way to go for that. I think that's, I think that those completes, are great tips. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. So great thank tips. you so much for tuning in to our first module. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about our next module. This is gonna be cardio, carbo, It's gonna be carbohydrates. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> thank you.